How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Johann Christoph von Wulner, Minister of Religious Affairs. And Jacques Perrou, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. This is a recap thing. Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. That happened like, it was just like jumped in so fast that I was like, wait. Yeah. So what do you want to learn? You can learn two manuscripts. What do you want to learn? Um, let's see what we got. We got Encyclopedia. Okay, so... Ooh, well, a lot of that. Yeah. This one just has one skill point, one skill point. So we should probably put in the encyclopedia. Yeah. Okay, so another one. Let's see. Maybe I would go with conviction or logic, because aren't those the two things... Those are the two things that we're, like, specced into. I would think, yeah, you know what, we should go with what we're strong with rather than make up for what we're weak with. Well, because I feel like even if we put points into the other stuff, it's not going to be enough to, like, do a, give us a significant benefit. So we might as well just, like, you know, even if we get, like, one point in etiquette, I don't know that that's going to help us. True. So you want to do logic or conviction? Let's do conviction. Are we, is, that our, is that our thing? I think we're, we're like... Hold on. Let's see what we are. Vig logic? Occu occultism? No, 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 wait, no. no. Sorry, sorry. Vigilance, psychology, and logic. Wait, and that was... What about the other ones? This is for, like... Oh, so it's conviction and... So we want... Let's look at the ones that we have. Vigilance, psychology, and logic. And what's the... Questioning. Okay. So we want... Psychology, logic. So I guess let's so do logic. logic. Lord Mortimer's office, January twenty second, seventeen ninety three. The Council, Episode Two: Hide and Seek. We don't know what accent this is, but it sounds fancy. <laughs> Fancy pants accent. Is there nothing you want to say, Louis? I... Uh, it wasn't me. I, I, I didn't kill her. I, I'd much rather have met you under different circumstances. Lord Mortimer, believe me, I'm very conscious of the gravity of the situation. <laughs> Everything seems to point to me as the one who killed Elizabeth, but I swear I am innocent. Out of respect for your mother, Rest assured that I do want to believe you. And all I want is to be able to prove it to you. When do we start? We already have. Tell me, Louis. How do you feel? How do you feel? Trapped like a rat? Yeah. I feel like a rat trapped in a maze. Interesting. I beg your pardon? Sarah also felt like she was trapped like an animal. Where are you going with this, my lord? Sarah's behavior grew odd before her disappearance. Really? I her would never have guessed. changed. She became prey to outbursts of violence and a number of temporary absences. I'm just trying to make sure that you don't go getting lost like your mother did. Mm. You're not suggesting that I might have killed Elizabeth and that I don't remember, are you? I don't know, Louis. It's just that what with your mother and now you, it's rather a lot. The more I take stock of the situation, the more I'm under the impression that you've been set up. But, before going any further, I must inform you that Sir Gregory is about to arrive. He is coming to question you about the murder of poor Elizabeth, whom he was very fond of. He is quite determined to find the culprit, whomever they may be. So, convince him of your innocence. 
Then we can continue this conversation. Character revealed, Lord Mortimer. William, I would like to see you a moment before we begin. In private. Let's step outside a moment. Louis, this will only take a few moments. I can see lots of wig snatching going on in this. Oh my god, I hope wig snatching time. happens. I hope wig, wig snatching happens. <laughs> like we literally snatch no. someone's Starts wig. No, so steady. All right, let's take this chance to look around. <laughs> we're going to get caught. Of like... course. But we're going to do it anyway. I would look at the desk. Enclosed are the witness statements of guests Bonaparte and Hillsborough. Statement of Napoleon Bonaparte. When asked, what were you doing yesterday evening? Monsieur Bonaparte replied, After talking with Lord Mortimer, I talking. spent... After talking with Lord Mortimer, I spent the evening playing cards with Sir Gregory, Mr. Washington, and his eminence, Piaggi. 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 Sir Gregory won. When asked, did you notice anything strange throughout the evening? Monsieur Bonaparte replied, At daybreak, I thought I saw someone on the balcony, but couldn't see who it was. Statement of Duchess Hillsborough. When asked, what were you doing yesterday evening? The Duchess replied, I spent the evening in Monsieur de Richesse. Is that? Monsieur de Richesse. Monsieur de Richesse's company. We admired the works they exhibited in the Manor Gallery. While going up to bed, we ran into Miss Ad... Oh, that's you. No. While going up to bed, we ran into Miss Adams. As I was tired, I left Monsieur de Richesse... Is that? Mm -hmm. And Miss Adams in, conver in conversation and went to bed. When asked, did you notice anything strange throughout the evening? The Duchess replied, No, not that I remember. Oh, so I guess that was the one thing. Go sit back down, idiot. Okay. Please, sit back down, Louis. <laughs> This sort of behavior is not working in your favor, young man. What do we do? We got up from the Monsieur desk. Monsieur de Richet, you were found standing over Miss Adams' body. We must shed some light on your responsibility in this tragedy. We shall then decide on your fate. But you must know that if you do not convince us of your innocence, it will cost you dearly. We're fucked. Now you are going to tell us everything that happened last night without leaving any detail out. First things first, how did your evening begin? Uh, I was with Emily when Elizabeth turned up. Duchess Hillsborough and I were returning to our rooms when Elizabeth came upon us. Oh, so you were with the Duchess? Yes, we were talking. We were walking up the stairs and it was late. Where did you come from? Uh, the study, I don't remember. I think? Well, Tell him the truth. Yeah, sure. I mean... We came from the portrait gallery, if I remember rightly. Hmm. That is what the Duchess said. Continue. We were heading for our rooms when Elizabeth burst into the corridor, barely dressed. She was panic-stricken and insisted on speaking to me. So I found myself in Elizabeth's room. We sat down together. She insisted we have a drink or she would refuse to confide in me. Hmm. What exactly did she want to speak about at such a late hour? Cults. About uh, her childhood. She was distressed. She She just found out that I was Sarah Deriche's son and sort of insisted on telling me about the horrors my mother made her suffer. She was convinced she was going to die. <laughs> it turns out she wasn't wrong. And what happened next? Then she told me she had poured laudanum in my glass. The next minute I was on the floor. When I woke up, she was lying in a pool of blood. That is all you have to say? You expect us to believe that you have no idea what happened to her? Yes, because I'm telling you the truth. How can you possibly expect us to believe you? Gregory, we must consider every possibility. I like how they don't just assume that she was just like, Oh, she was crazy, so therefore Louis, whatever. Do you have any idea who could have done it? I don't... Uh, Jacques Perru is the guy that was threatening her, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you ask him where he was last night? 
Monsieur Peru, what would his motive be? Do you have any proof? No, not exactly, but Ooh. he'd already wrapped her up once. Monsieur de Richet, you should not accuse the first person to come Shit. along without at least <laughs> Maybe we should have held on to the thing. I'm uh. sure you are worthier than that. Can you think of anyone else? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what the right answer is here. What about if it was our mother? Well, even if I can't believe for a single instant that my mother could have murdered someone in that manner, she might have wanted to stop Elizabeth from speaking about their mutual past. And things might have turned nasty. It is indeed a possibility. Ugh. I would like to thank you for helping us shed light on what happened last night. To be honest, you are not the only suspect. I'm prepared to believe you were dropped. Our poor Elizabeth hid the stuff everywhere, and I could smell laudanum on you three yards away. So you knew it wasn't me from the start? We weren't sure. We gotta put pressure on you, Dad. Mm hmm Louis, I am sorry, but everything points in the same direction. I only know one person on this island who might have had a big enough grudge against Elizabeth who has no alibi, and whose behavior is, well, suspect. Not to mention dangerous. Tell me what happened before my arrival. I think I've been patient enough. You don't need us for any of this. So come along, Monsieur Peru. We are leaving. He's gonna hate us now, but that's okay. <laughs> the eyes are like so highly defined. Right. It's time we spoke about your mother, Louis. The eyes are so highly defined, but like you can see that the veins, it's just two of the same uh, skin on both eyes. So mm -hmm. that doesn't... She's in hiding? Yeah, maybe. She seems to be making every effort to steer clear of your guests. What, what do you mean? For the past few weeks, my mother's been playing cat and mouse, if you will. I don't know why, but it wouldn't surprise me to learn that she's trying to avoid someone. The question is, who? And in your opinion, would she be the cat or the mouse? Oh, shit. Oh, the cat, um, I guess? I don't know. Mouse? Why would she, like, why, if, why she would she, if she's the cat, why would she hide? I don't know. Because she was trying to kill what's-her-face, maybe? Yeah. I like to answer the cat, but unfortunately I'm increasingly worried that she's in fact the mouse. That doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. What was the official reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. I thought we had everything to gain by working together. You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. How did you hear about that? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about it yesterday, during lunch. I see. So impetuous. He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. I took it upon myself to back him, because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. We shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. Did my mother know. intend to finance a war? I'm not sure that I follow. No, your mother's aim was not so much to partake in a war, but rather to make Monsieur Bonaparte accountable. France is in turmoil, and having support of a military man can often come in handy, Louis. You'll see. Once this deal was closed, I had big plans for Sarah. Such as what? You see, I've invited several influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. And I still think so. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. I see. Indeed, if by chance your mother decided not to return to us before the conference, would you do me the great honor of attending? If only to follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. 
Why not? We shall see. Ah, thank you so much. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what is safe. Thank you, Bess. Um, there's something else I'd like to briefly go over. Earlier, you asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? Oh, I... I honestly don't remember. Yeah, me neither. Let's just say that. Um. She... she was looking for someone. What, what do you mean? In Paris, we were working on a smuggling case to do with occult objects. We had just arrested a dealer who intended to go to you to meet a buyer. My mother was here to find out to whom he intended to sell his stolen treasure. Oh. Uh, what was the name of your dealer? Suddenly I'm suspicious. A Germanic name, I believe. <sighs> I can't remember exactly. Von... Von... Something or other. Von Volner? No, not your friend Mr. Von Volner. There's something I still don't get. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? This old dude's kind of hot. Um, she might have discovered something? Maybe she found something out. What do you mean? My mother has a gift for investigating. If she had picked up a lead, nothing would have stopped her. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. At the beginning of her stay here, we enjoyed spending time together, solving the world's problems. So what we know is that we've always trusted our mother, mm -hmm. but we also know from our psychic visions, or I assume we know. Remember we had psychic visions of her killing that girl's twin sister? Oh, I don't know that those were, well, psychic visions, sure. I'll call them whatever, you know what I mean? And we, so it's like murder's not really past this woman. I think that that was pretty clear from the opening scene. Yes, but I'm wondering, like, should we be outing our mother? Because it seemed like her murder was, like, towards a better goal. Maybe. I didn't really take, I didn't really take that as for sure that we had, that she had murdered the woman's sister. Because she shot her in the face, and then the other sister said, I don't know where my sister is. Yeah, I guess just, like... I didn't really interpret that as, like, a psychic vision. I interpreted that more as, like, a dream where it's, like, we, we don't trust m our mother is someone whom we trust, and the Duchess is someone who we're not sure if we can trust. So the person that we trust, like, if your, bra if your brain is, like, sorting through information. But this was before we even met the Duchess. I don't know. And also the Duchess later confirms that she had as a twin sister that they share a life with. Okay, Her sure, psychic style. vision. Uh, and then we also had that thing where we went into that dude's, like, body and followed people around. I don't remember that. I, this is what's so tough about playing episodic games is that it's, like, weeks later, and I'm like, yeah, that happened, I guess. So we had the supposedly psychic dream before we met the Duchess. We met the Duchess, and we're like, oh, how is she still alive? Later she said... Oh, my twin sister is missing. I've been sharing my life with my twin sister, like switching off, pretending to yeah, be the same person. Yeah, I remember that. And we went to sleep, and we like psychically. I I'm going to call it psychically. We don't know what it is. Projected into one of the servants and followed somebody around, talking. However, it could be what you said. It could also be we were dreaming, hearing a conversation, and dreaming that we were the guy. Yeah, I'm just not, it's like, it's tough to say whether it's like, whether it's like, whether the dream is like symbolism or whether it's like, no, this is like what's actually happening. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because we could be assigning magical powers to a situation, which is going to muddle our ability to understand what really happened, mm -hmm. which is what I fear that they would go for in this game because they're like, in real life, there's no magic, idiot. Yeah. Um, what did they speak about together? You seem to know my mother very well, my lord. What did you talk about together? Oh, as soon as we had a little free time, we liked to share points of view about practically any subject. We would find ourselves embarked on interminable discussions that could go from Monsieur Blanchard's flight in a hot air balloon to the Treaty of Jesse. 
or the adoption of the metric system in France last year, or even Mr. Eli Whitney's invention in the United States. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. My mother must have undoubtedly taken great pleasure in these exchanges. She always was one to appreciate broadening her knowledge. I'm surprised she didn't get you started on the Crusades. It was her favorite subject. <laughs> Are you joking? Sarah and I spent entire days together reliving them. It so happens that the Crusades are also my subject of predilection, especially the third. My ancestor distinguished himself brilliantly during the siege of saint jean d'Acre. Do you know what that is? No. We'll I know nothing of the Crusades. Unfortunately, my lord, the Crusades are not my chosen field. Well, it doesn't matter. You have plenty of time to learn. Your mother is a very well-read woman. You're quite lucky to have her as a model, Louis. Yes, I know. But I'm still very worried. I must admit, there are worse things to worry about now, Louis. What do you mean? Since she disappeared, your mother has been seen once. Her behavior on the evening of your arrival greatly surprised Gregory and myself. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's oh, twin sister. There you go. And she shot her with a pistol. Mm -hmm. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. I beg your pardon? Hang on. That means my vision on the wharf, it was actually happening inside the manor. Mother shot Emily's sister? The very person she came looking for? Why would she do that? Excuse me, but between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's, it's all a bit much for me to cope with. Your mom's evil. I need to piece it all together again to see things more clearly. You said that you spent a lot of time talking together at the beginning. What happened for that to change? I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by, the more she withdrew into herself. She never gave me an explanation. Until the day came when she purely and simply disappeared. Where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. W would you allow me to go there? Naturally, Louis, of course. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank you. One last thing, although I don't know if there is a connection. I'm listening. A gate was forced the other night near the wall. <sighs> Nothing serious, just a few small things damaged. Uh, excuse yourself. Yeah. Just, just be real about it. Just, just, yeah. Sorry, my lord, uh, but I was searching for leads to my mother. I thought I was hot on her trail and didn't take any precautions. Well, you could have reported it to a servant. But never mind. I shall put it down to your ardor and anxiety. <laughs> We're just a nervous boy. However, please try to respect my state in <laughs> future. I certainly will. Please accept my sincerest apologies. That's all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on her trail and follow up any leads. Thank you. Uh, we will meet uh, later on to welcome our last guest. In the meantime, I shall get someone to open the box room upstairs for you. Thank you. So that feels like it could have gone worse. The room is just opposite Mortimer's study. Go back up. Aww. Oh wait, yeah. No, that that's a no. I wanted to look at the pictures because that huge picture of the uh, incubus seemed relatively important. I I only looked at it when you could just see the woman. So. Oh, so that's like a famous picture of an incubus, and uh, they're like the origins of not the origins, but people. You know how there's sleep paralysis. Yeah. And you wake up and you hallucinate sometimes. And so people would hallucinate something was sitting on their chest because they couldn't move. But they believe that Incubus like sucked on your dream energy. It could be sexual or it could just be like when you're helpless and you can't move. Mm -hmm. And a succubus was when a female did it to a man and he had a, um, a wet dream. So they would blame wet dreams on 
incubi. Mm -hmm. And like if a woman like had sleep paralysis, it was like an incubus sitting on her chest, mm -hmm. sucking her energy away. There are burnt papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? But what I wonder is like... Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword... <laughs> I recognize her love of riddles there. We just got, came out of a scenario where we were literally asleep and paralyzed and unable to do something and like we were violated I would say in some way. We were? Not like sexually, but like we were, she drugged us, we became oh, incapacitated oh, oh, oh. and something bad happened and then yeah. they were like, look at this huge painting. So, yeah, well, I mean, I honestly think that, like, there's enough art in this game that you could draw a symbolism of, like, any of the things that have happened. I mean, like, just when we were going through the portrait room, remember? I think they did that on purpose, though, is because it seems like That's what like I'm they saying. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I think that they, I mean, they obviously chose these pieces from somewhere, and when we were, remember, like... With the pig lady? The pig witch? Uh, yeah, and we were going through, like, all of the different, uh symbolisms and shit yeah and so you know clearly they they spent a lot of time picking out all of these appropriate art pieces yes i feel like they use the art to like if you're somebody who knows art they're trying to be like this is the direction we're going in or just like some sort of mirroring of what's going on yeah i have a feeling that if mortimer is the one picking out the paintings and he's in control of what the paintings are. Maybe he has more control over the situation than we believe. Oh, I assumed that he had all the control over the situation. And he's just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I yeah, because they from the way they paint him at the very beginning of the game, he's supposed to be this like mysterious like benefactor. The way they type paint person. him, get it, guys? Aha. Yep. Saint Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. We must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is onto us. Trust my faith in the man with the sword. Oh, so maybe there's a photo of a man with a sword. But I think this is it because there's a man with a sword in it. Yeah. Examine the painting. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal. The curtains of his illusions being raised and receives the light from his savior. Is that a sword? No, it's a spear. Mm. It's a stupid spear. Do you have your phone with you for no, emergency lookups? I can grab it, though. Thank you. AJ missed you when you were gone. I know. He tried to go with you. He was like, where'd you go? So, maybe we look for... Are there any other paintings in here? There's, like, stuff in here that I want to look through. So... Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured, for what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. Ripen in our rays, okay. Okay, so this is just a general note, it didn't pop up specifically for this, so I think we can walk around and look for a painting of a man with Well, sword. hold on, we should pro did we search, <coughs> did we search the whole room? Yeah, I did. Okay. There's only one glowy spot left. Oh, we're locked in. The door appears to be locked on the other side. Oh, dragon! Oh. I think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like like a key falling to the floor. I'm gonna need something to help me get the key that fell on the floor. Smart. The door was closed from the inside. Would mother have provided something within reach to recover it? Yes. Okay. So let's. I don't so, want to force it open because then it, he's gonna be like, "Why?" Because then we my have to. I know we have to be that asshole who's like, "Oh, I broke your door." So. I don't have any stuff. Hold on, look. Aha! What's this? A Byzant. I don't know. What's a Byzant? I have no idea. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we can force it open, but I don't want to because it's going to be like, stop breaking my shit. No, I think... Leave. No. Nope. I need something to help me get the key that fell on the floor. The door was closed from the inside. Would Mother have provided something within reach to recover it? Uh, a Byzant is a gold or silver coin originally minted at Byzantium. Byzantium. That sounds... Oh, wait. In the I Byzantium remember. Empire, you know? There was... That's the name of the movie I thought you would like. Byzantium. There burnt papers in the chimney. Uh, th that's the Byzantine... There's a legible fragment left. Right? Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Yeah. Well, we've been locked in this That's room. It's from Constantinople. Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. <laughs> I recognize her love of riddles there. But um, the Byzantium is uh, about a mother and daughter who are vampires, and it's Dark like Dante's Paradise. No, this is just Raise a movie. Okay. Assured, for what comes up here from Hunt, the mortal look. world must ripen in our age. What's this? This is disc. Take it. Take the disc. Okay, so there's a hint saying there's something in the rays. So maybe. Because I can't leave this room. Yeah. What about over here? I feel like they wouldn't give you the direction of like, oh, there's probably something here and then not have there be something. Mm-hmm. So this, I, we need to find a way to... Oh. Oh. Use the disc. We'll see if it works. Oh, <gasps> it's a magnet! Oh, smart. I just don't want to get yelled at. Like, stop breaking my stuff. I know. In my house. <laughs> but it's I think. It's open. Oh, a, it's a lodestone. It's a naturally magnetized piece piece of metal. Is it like? Earth magnets, they're, or is they're, it like... They're naturally occurring magnets. Ah. Which attract iron. I finally know what a lodestone really is. It's always like one of those words that you find in like RPGs. Yeah, it's like a, like a, it's a fantasy, it's a, like... A fantasy thing, like, get yeah. the lodestone, and you're like, I don't know what that means, give it to me. Like, yeah, and now and I whereas they know. could just say it's a fucking magnet. Representing air. <laughs> oh, this is an ancient magnet. Okay. I can't use any of these things. Okay, so we gotta find a dude with a sword. My mother did three things for me. One, Come then. she spared my life the day that I was born. Two, she paid for my upkeep on her knees and on her back. Three, she gave me the story I can never tell.